Hi everyone, it's Josie again. I'm still on holidays and I'm still having a great time and relaxing. Um, today, I'm gonna read to you The Gruffalo's Child. Do you remember when last time I read, I read The Gruffalo? Well, this is, this story continues and it's about the Gruffalo's child and that smart mouse that we talked about last time. So let's get started. It's written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Alex Scheffler. So let's have a look at the Gruffalo's child. Okay. The Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever set foot in the deep, dark wood. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, the big bad mouse will run after you. I met him once, said the Gruffalo. I met him a long, long time ago. What does he look like? Tell us, Dad. Is he terribly big and terribly bad? Do you remember the mouse from last time? Well, let's see how smart he is this time. I can't quite remember, the Gruffalo said. Then he thought for a moment and scratched his head. Hmm, the big bad mouse is terribly strong and his scaly tail is terribly long. His eyes are like pools of terrible fire and his terrible whiskers are tougher than wire. Wow, that's not the mouse I saw. Let's have a look. One snowy night when the Gruffalo snored, the Gruffalo's child was feeling bored. Hmm. The Gruffalo's child was feeling brave, so she tiptoed out of the Gruffalo cave. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild into the wood went the Gruffalo's child. Ooh, looks very cold. Let's have a look what happens. Aha! Oh, a trail in the snow. Who is this trail and where does it go? A tail poked out of a long log pile house. Could this be the tail of the big bad mouse? Ooh, I wonder who that tail belongs to. Hmm, doesn't look like a mouse's tail to me. <gasps> Out slid the creature. His eyes were small and he didn't have whiskers. No, none at all. You're not the mouse. Not I, said the snake. He's down by the log eating Gruffalo cake. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. Oh, she's sounding very um, brave, isn't she? Aha! Oh, marks in the snow. Whose are these claw marks? Where do they go? Two eyes gleamed out of a treetop house. Could these be the eyes of the big, bad mouse? What do you think? Hmm, let's have a look. Down flew the creature. His tail was short and he didn't have whiskers of any sort. You're not the mouse. To who? Not I. But he's somewhere nearby eating graffalo pie. Oh, goodness. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. Hmm, very brave. Aha, oh, a trek in the snow. Who is this trek and where does it go? Whiskers at last and an underground house. Could this be the home of the big, bad mouse? Hmm, what do you think? It's got a little red snout. Don't know if that could be him. Out, 
slunk the creature. His eyes weren't fiery, his tail wasn't scaly, and his whiskers weren't wiry. You're not the mouse. Oh no, not me. He's under a tree drinking Graffalo tea. It's all a trick, said the Graffalo's child, as she sat on a stump where the snow lay piled. I don't believe in the big bad mouse. Mmm, someone else said that too. But here comes a little one out of his house. Not big, not bad, but a mouse at least. You'll taste good at mid as a midnight feast. Mmm, wants to eat the mouse. Oh, wait, said the mouse. Before you eat, there's a friend of mine that you ought to meet. If you let me hop onto a hazel twig, I'll beckon my friend so bad and so big. The Gruffalo child unclenched her fist. The big bad mouse? So he does exist. The mouse hopped into the hazel tree. He beckoned, then said, just wait and see. Oh, I think the mouse is going to play another trick on him. Out came the moon. It was bright and round. A terrible shadow fell onto the ground. Oh, look at that big shadow. Who is this creature? So big, bad and strong. His tail and his whiskers are terribly long. His ears are enormous and over his shoulder he carries a nut as big as a boulder. Oh my goodness. The big bad mouse, yelled the Gruffalo child. The mouse jumped down from the twig and smiled. Aha, oho, prince in the snow. Who's that, this prince? Where do they go? Ooh. The footprints led to the Gruffalo cave, where the Gruffalo's child was a bit less brave. The Gruffalo's child was a bit less bored. And the Gruffalo snored and snored and snored. That rascally little mouse got his way again. He got out of being eaten again. How clever is he? He's a very smart mouse. So that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed that. And don't forget to um, subscribe to Educura Kids and like us. Till next time, I'm going to say goodbye. And I've got little Chihuahua here, um, Coco, sleeping in the sun. And then I've got Milo next to her. He's also enjoying the sun. And of course, Naughty Indy. Naughty Indy is always about, but she sits wherever she likes. And she's sitting on the sofa just over there. Hi, Indy. Indy. Oh, she's very, very um, relaxed. So I'll say goodbye again. Till next time. Bye.